sending live and live guys hello everybody YouTube and Facebook ah, that's a lot of different hi Gary so there's a lot of difference in lighting I can see and it's a tremendous amount of lights in YouTube guys if you are if you want a better quality go to my youtube channel all right you will see a lot of difference anyway hello everybody today i'm going to teach you guys how to make the what you call that the zucchini bread uh i've made this once before let me just see oh, hi 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 look good today yeah thank you so Zucchini bread I made once before uh, many 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 years ago uh, I have this friend of mine who's from US who was from USA she passed I think she was just 45 years old from Minnesota uh, she moved here and she married to her own cousin and uh, I think shortly after that I think without within 10 years she got cancer and she just died and I really miss her. So today, uh, I was thinking, Suchini is really good, and I think uh, a lot of people do not know that um, Suchini can actually make a very good bread. So if you haven't tried this before, I would urge you to try this. But the one that she uh, gave me, the recipe was far too much sugar, and I thought, no way, I'm gonna do that because uh, you know my channel is about healthy food. And I always modified my recipe. So today I'm modifying this recipe, hoping that um, this will turn out well. So I'm going to be live streaming two times actually. One time is the preparation because this bread is going to be baked in the oven for at least one hour before. Hey, come, LG. LG, come. I haven't tried. Come and say hello. Just say hello. He's so vain. You know, Hello. he wants to look good and all that. <laughs> Did you see? I, I just want you to see the difference yeah. between the lights. You notice that? It's, it's so much brighter in oh, yes. YouTube and it's so dark at Facebook. Yeah, a really, really big difference. A lot of difference, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so I, I'm doing this recipe. So you want to take a rest? You want, shall we? I do this and then I put them in the oven because it will take about one hour and later when we have eaten finish mm -hmm. and then we come back I'll come back and then I'll just show them how the bread look like how about yeah. that how I already, about that how about that yeah mm -hmm. sounds nice so I make the chicken already oh. so you can eat them I wait for you somebody say hi to you hi. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. So over here, I have about one and a half cup of flour, which is just plain flour. You can actually use um, whole grain flour if you like. One and a half cup. Uh, actually, you could also mix them with uh, plain flour and whole grain flour so that, you know, it's not too much of a white flour. I tr usually try to avoid that, but because I don't have the whole meal flour today, so I'm using the white flour, right? And white flour, honestly, is slightly lighter than the whole grain flour. Whole grain flour is more fiber, right? So it's sink to the bottom. So you want to make sure that the, the cake or the bread lift up, use a lighter flour. And I also sieve them already before I put them in the bowl. So just one and a half cup. And over here, I have uh, about half a cup of oil. The recipe actually called for, I think it was one and a half cup. So I'm reducing the amount to more than half. So I'm gonna use like half a cup of oil. And I have some vanilla essence. And I have a, you're supposed to use yogurt, but I don't have yogurt at home. So I'm using milk. Uh, and also, if you have honey, use honey. But if you don't have honey, you could use syrup. So this is just dark brown syrups. So this is about half a cup and two tablespoons of dark sugar. All right. And also they call for one egg. I think the American size, the egg is very big, right? So in Sweden, the size is very, very small. 
So I'm going to be using two of this. Hey, Jacqueline. So I'm going to be using two of this eight, okay? So instead of one big one, and uh, over here, there are two ways to lift up this cake because you guys know, right? Our, uh, this zucchini is very heavy, right? So if you want to make the cake puffy, you really need to use uh, quite a bit of baking powder and bicarbonate. So the bicarbonate will lift up the air. So actually, uh, the recipe, I followed exactly. So I just hope that it will work this time uh, because of the oil that I reduced. And also, one teaspoon of cinnamon, all right? And uh, a pinch of salt, they say a pinch, but I like to have a bit more salty in my cake so of uh, bread. So I usually add slightly more. So that's it. And also two of uh, uh, two zucchini which I grated and then you know like the way I did before, I use the cheesecloth and I cover them and I squeeze them. So once it is all the juice came out. So it's ready to be used. Very easy, right? So what I'll do next is I'm going to break the egg into two. One. How are, how's everybody doing today? It's Saturday today. And to me, it doesn't feel like any difference because I'm still working. Even today, I'm still working. So let me just see if I can find a just a spoon or oh, I can use a chopstick you know I'm K Asian right I'm using chopstick so you don't need, need to beat them very much just mix them and usually what I do is I like to mix the all the wet, wet ingredient in one bowl and all the dark uh, flour dry ingredient in another bowl so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take another bowl and put all my wet ingredient in one bowl. Alright, so let's put the dry ingredient, the bicarbonate, the baking powder, the baking soda, and also the cinnamon, hmm, and also the brown sugar. Alright, so this is what I usually like to do, put everything in one bowl, mix them well so that it is evenly mixed. This recipe is very easy, you don't need any machine at all. So for lazy people like me, it's perfect. Alright, so I'm going to mix the rest of the ingredient in this bowl, I'm going to put the egg. One egg, followed by the honey, or if you don't have honey, you can use the dark, or dark, uh, what do you call it, the syrup, right? Syrup. Okay, and then the vanilla, ah, the smell is so good. The vanilla accents. And then followed by the oil. Let me just put everything in. Okay, that's all. And then if you have yogurt, use yogurt. If you don't have a yogurt like me, the lazy people style, use milk. So that's all. That's all you need, alright? So as you guys see, it's really, really easy. So what I do is... I like to put the mixture over here first, all right? So I'm gonna blend everything in here. Super, super easy, isn't it? You don't have a big machine here making a lot of sound. And then you get all giddy. I get giddy. So I'm gonna mix this. Making sure that it is smooth enough. Okay, use a chopstick. I think my friend, 
my late friend probably will be thinking about me. Maybe she just behind me. All right, Caroline, this video is for you. I hope uh, we we'll meet one day. Eh, for sure we meet one day. Okay, now followed by the uh, zucchini. So guys, this is good if you use a chopsticks, all right. <laughs> and also a wooden spoon. So, how do you eat this cake? It's actually really easy. Very, very easy. Just butter, alright? As a breakfast bread, you know, you eat them to, like a breakfast. And before I pour them over to my cake, uh, my container, making sure that this is evenly mixed, alright? Make sure you need some muscle here. Lucky I went training yesterday. Okay, so this is evenly mixed. I'm going to put everything at the side. So this is going to be like a super, super, super fast live streaming. Alright, and as you can see, I line my cake, my container, so that I could don't have to take the risk of pouring or uh, removing this and so that it gets stuck but I don't think so it will get stuck so I'm just gonna pour everything into one if you have two small one it's good too uh, so you can pour them in two let me just get the scraper and don't waste food And pour everything all right don't waste it don't waste it okay in here I know it doesn't look pleasant but let, let me tell you okay guys it's gonna be so delicious you won't believe it okay so spread this evenly don't worry about the look i think most importantly is how it tastes like let me just taste mm. Mm. Mm, so good okay mm. give this a tap and i'm gonna put this into the oven 190 degrees uh, some people like to on 200 degrees but for me I think 190 let it constant and then at the middle of the time reduce it to 180 and just continue to bake them all right so I'm going to put this quickly into the oven and I'm coming back here to you Ta -da! right fast yeah so um and I, I don't know whether you guys noticed i have put up my new video about the project that i am working on um i am currently uh trying to sell my own product i've been doing live streaming uh and youtube for a while now uh for youtube i think i'm four years at youtube and over the years when i was doing videos you start to build up a passion and interest and when I do some like the research on certain product and then I like to read about the product I like to read about the plant I like to read about flowers so it became my passion and I think this is really fun because uh, many people uh, from YouTube especially wrote to me and asked me hey SD uh, why don't you sell those things that you know because we don't have all this kind of plant in Singapore and and many of them also asked me hey why don't you start a tour you know that uh, maybe you know we can come to Sweden and visit you and you can bring us to the forest and pick mushrooms and berries and 
teach us how to manage the, the product that's uh, I mean the berries and mushrooms so I did a lot of uh, video on that and I think uh, it somehow created a lot of interest and that's why I was sitting at home the other day I was thinking hmm actually this could be a product you know I never have my own product I'm always selling other people product why can't I have my own product so I sat down and I calculated how much is needed because the tax here is ridiculously high so I had to calculate the number of amount of tax in percentage which is about 32 percent so that's why uh, maybe some of you may be thinking wow that's very costly actually it's not it's inclusive of tax so if you if I don't include the tax then I'm not being honest so I have to include the tax in so I hope that this could be some interest and as you guys know my apartment is uh, available at Airbnb uh, I am creating another profile because uh, they have just started a new uh, product called Airbnb experience uh, it means for people like me who are not just uh, catering to uh, people travelers and uh, tourists who come to Sweden but also to include uh, experience for our guests so I think Airbnb they are very very good very successful in doing that and I actually got quite a few inquiries I turned down three uh, because I didn't think that the time was right for me so but soon I will have another family coming from Norway and they will be staying with us for about a week so it's four of them all together so it's really really exciting and I cannot wait to you know meet more of my uh, followers and my friends if they are interested in this in what I do and would like to come here and visit me there's a place where you could stay so I will be doing a live streaming about that because I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of questions that they want to ask me how should I take an airplane from Singapore for example to uh, Sweden, Shalafio, how should I transit and how long is the time and what is the currency what kind of um, uh, weather is it in February for example so I'm going to answer and I'm going to be really really honest because I think I, I like to work according to what I believe because I know that uh, people like me who are Asian uh, going to a country especially extreme weather we need to be well informed and just like any one of you guys right hi Jeraldin. so just like any one of you guys if you are not familiar with a country uh, let's say you don't even know what is the weather for next week and then you only bring all the thin thin clothes and at the end you find out you can't use any one of them right so that's not so good so I'm going to be giving really really practical uh, tips about how to travel like and how what you should think about when you um, visit here in Shalafil and what to expect uh, the video that I put up today uh, in my Facebook and I think I put up at YouTube yesterday but I think I'm going to remove that video because I wasn't satisfied with the music and I wasn't satisfied with the graphics so I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to remove that I'm going to put a new one in which already been featured on Facebook so you guys can watch that and hopefully someone might want to come and uh, try out this experience and I want to be um, uh, making this as my product because I think this is really I'm really really passionate about what I do and I'm looking forward to meet you guys all right so I'm gonna cut this live streaming now and I'm gonna have my dinner with uh, LG and when the cake and uh, all the bread are done I'm gonna come on later and show you guys how it looks like okay so guys thank you I will keep you guys informed when will be my live streaming on Monday probably I will come on and tell you guys more about uh, the product and also um, and the experience that I have over the 
20 years, almost 20 years now, what I have, uh, why I want to stay here. Uh, I was really inspired because um, I met my dentist uh, nurse just a few weeks ago. She came from Singapore. Uh, she went there for holiday for one week and she was looking at me and she was saying, are you crazy? Why do you want to move to Sheffield? <laughs> and I want to share this experience with you. And it just makes me think, you know, and I've written down why, what makes me stay in this country. Hi, you hear me? <laughs> so it, it just makes me realize uh, why people ask me that. Um, that Swedish girl, she, she was saying, you must be out of your mind when you move to Sweden from Singapore. Singapore is a good country, very safe, very clean, everything is very organized. Camp, the, the country is amazing and, and you move from a big city to a small Tom Billy. According to her, it's called the Tom Billy city. <laughs> so I was like laughing and it just gave me um, this very important moment where I felt like yeah why do I even stay here because I don't think so many people would understand and that is why I think I am so passionate about telling my stories and I hope you could join me all right so guys I will come back again in probably 45 minutes to an hour and I'm going to show you how good this cake would look like all right See you. Bye. Bye-bye. YouTube.